Hey, I'm super excited about today's video because I'm finally getting the pantry of my dreams. We've lived in this house for 10 years and anytime I think about my someday dream house, having a pantry is like a must have, but I never thought I could have it in this house. We have this hall closet that's right beside the kitchen that I tried to make a pantry. And honestly, I thought this was as good as it was ever gonna get. I don't know why I've been waiting though, because it's so much easier than I thought to have the storage that I crave, no matter what space you're starting with. Are you ready to see this transformation? Let's get started. Now that everything's out, it's a clean slate. I'm gonna install the new pantry system and I'm going with the Alpha system from the container store and I worked with an Alpha design specialist to design my dream pantry. So the most important thing, it's a rail system, is the first rail, which I'm going to install at 89 inches high and then the rest should just fall into place. I'm optimistic. I'm feeling optimistic. I should measure from the bottom first. Listen, if I can do this, you can too. So once your top rails are in place, the next part is so simple. You just slide them into place. Now that the track and rails are in place, it's time to start putting the shelf brackets. This is very exciting. We had a debate in this house about what size shelves to do. Joe wanted to have 20 inch shelving from the bottom to the top to maximize storage, but I convinced him to do 12 inches on the top so it has more of a feeling of a walk-in pantry. So we're gonna have 20 inch counter height and below, but up top, it's just gonna be short shelving to maximize the feel of a walk-in pantry. So for the bottom half of the pantry in the middle, I'm actually going to have a drawer system, which I'm really excited about. This is the starter stack system from the container store. And I love it because it has wheels that you can attach so I can create this into like a cart that can be wheeled into the kitchen or wheeled back. But I also love the fact that even if you don't have a closet or you don't have wall space for an open pantry system, this starter stack system means you can create more storage in your kitchen without needing actual space. And it's really easy to put together, apparently. The instructions say all you need is a rubber mallet. This is easy. I'm like, honestly, I'm pretty surprised so far how everything has been so simple to put together. Like even if you're like me and you're not handy, you can do this. So now that it's built, you just slide your drawers into place. And I love that you can customize the drawer. So I'm gonna do a small on top and then three of the bigger ones. I'm excited about this. So cute. I'm gonna attach the countertop and this rolling cart is done. So now that the pantry's installed in the closet, it looks fantastic. It's time for the fun part, which is organizing. I'm gonna be honest with you, I based the entire pantry off this jar, okay? I'm so in love with this jar. It is the gorgeous canister from the Marie Kondo collection in the color cloud because it's a dream come true. I am not a person who loves decanting things, but there are some things that just need to go in a container, like crackers. Look at my sad old cracker in comparison to this. I'm feeling very excited. So I am going to decant the things that I normally do, like my crackers, fishy crackers, all of those things that when you open the package get stale, like cookies. But I am a ladybug, so I don't like to see my things, which is why I chose a solid, gorgeous jar. The kids are butterflies. If I put something in a solid container, they're not even gonna know it exists. So I did get some clear jars with the same colored top lid as the beautiful jar that I'm obsessed with so that I can put their favorite cookies and other snacks for school. I can decant them into these, but have it nice and low where they can reach it. And of course, they can see what's inside. I'm not a person who decants everything, which is why I love these water highest than bins. I can toss things away even canned goods, all of the things I don't wanna look at in my new beautiful pantry, I can put in these 
awesome baskets. See the little label clip? It just slides right on the front of the basket so we know exactly what's inside. I even got the can riser so I can organize all of my canned goods and it extends in the same color. So it has like this beautiful mocha, it all matches. Of course, it's based on this lid, but I love this. I'm gonna have a grown up pantry that's gorgeous. And this is kind of like if home decor and organization had a baby. So everything is installed and now it's time for the finishing touches. I'm gonna just use all of the shelf liners that come with the Alpha system to make sure that nothing sort of falls through. And then to make this look like super custom, it comes with all these pieces to finish it off. So all of the rails are hidden. Once you have everything in place, you just cover up all the like hole systems. It also comes with these little face plates to go on the wire shelving to make it look like a solid shelf piece, which I really love. And they come in four different colors, but I chose white so that everything matches. So remember what this closet looked like before and check out my new pantry. I am so in love. I love all the containers and all the coordinating colors. It feels exactly what I was craving, which is a grown up, pretty and practical space. We definitely needed spots for the kids to make their lunches and for snacks and for our extra canned and dried goods. And this closet is delivering. I am beyond happy. I think my favorite part is definitely the cart, which I'm calling the lunch making station. Before our kids lunch making stuff was everywhere. We had some snacks above the fridge and baskets. We had some down low in a cabinet. They were sort of everywhere. Now everything is contained into this cart, which makes making lunch really fast and easy. Inside the cart, I used a cutlery tray to organize all of their favorite snacks so they can quickly grab them while making their lunch and toss them in their bag, but it's still keeping it contained. And beneath, I had an extra drawer dividers just to again, keep things contained. Down in the bottom in these beautiful baskets, we have extra canned goods, we have all of the sides and ramen because Milo's like a ramen freak. So much space and room to grow. I am in love. How cute are these labels? I just printed them on my computer and that's why I love these label clips so much because it's so simple. You just slide it out and then slide it back in so we can change these labels if we ever change what's inside the basket, but it takes only minutes to do. I didn't label these clear ones because they're clear so you know what's inside, but I love these little pop jars too. So I'm not a big decanter, but look at it. It sucks all the air out and keeps things really, really fresh and it looks pretty too. I might be converted to a decanter because Stop it, hold the cuteness. So thank you so much for watching and a big thank you to the Container Store for hooking me up with this life-changing pantry. I am so grateful and you know what? You don't have to wait for your dream home to have your dream storage system. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can learn more about this Alpha system. You can transform anything, whether it's a wall, a closet, even the back of the door, or get yourself a starter stack drawer system to create more storage in your home today. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I feel like I am slowly becoming a real for real grown up. Izzy says all the time that I'm a 16 year old. I was like stunted and I've stayed 16 forever. I've just got an old face and body as I age, but mentally, and she's not wrong, but listen, I went to the store to, to get things to put in these pretty pop containers, chia seeds. I had to ask Alicia, what the heck you do with these? Because what, apparently you can make pudding, they go on stuff. I've never ever, ever in my life had a chia seed, but this is chia pet uses chia seeds. You know where you smear it on and you make it wet and it grows like beards on, 
The point is, did you know about these chia seeds? I'm gonna look up recipes now. Do you know what else is in my new grown-up pantry? Quinoa. If you have quinoa in your kitchen, you are officially a grown-up, and now I am too. Am I ever gonna cook that? Hex no, I am not going to eat that, but look how pretty it looks in the pantry. Okay, seriously though, my food choices are bad, okay? Because when I was filling up this pantry, I was like picking delicious stuff, right? And I went to the store and I'm like, we need more food. And I got all, I was like, I'm aware that the internet is judgy. So I got dried fruits and nuts and other things to appear like maybe I'm not a toddler that eats candy 24 seven. And then Joe was like, you realize that's still all junk food, right? Like you just got candied nuts and candied dried banana slices, still candy. So yes, internet, judge me. I am a terrible person and I eat sugary, fattening, awful food but I also have quinoa and chia seeds in my pantry. Let me know in the, in the comments below. If you also eat like a toddler and if you have quinoa in your kitchen, this is a legit question because if the answer is yes, you deserve a pat on the back because you're winning at life. I'll see you guys next time.